Okay, welcome back to OCD Hi-Fi Guy. Got a video here for you. Um, I'm just gonna play the music this time, not tell you what it is. Okay, so we're back. I can't really, um, well, nah, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to play this and then we'll talk about it. I'm going to turn it up a little. These guys bought a heap of my stuff. And I got to see a good thing shooting up now. All my names are crop, it's crop and cake. But I crop it down and I'll spell that way. It's Dougie Dougie. Now I'm, now I'm going to turn it up definitely louder than before. Crop stuff. Folks line up all down the street Now I'm seeing this girl divide her meat And then they get it wham as clear as day My pulse begins to hammer and I hear a voice say These boys have got this down I'll be here one of these in every town These boys have got the touch Clean as a whistle and it don't cost much Wham, bam, go wait long Shake, fries, how do you go? And how about that friendly name? Heck, every little thing I've to stay the same All the names are crop, that's crop with a K Like crocodile, but not spelled that way now Okay, now I'll tell you what was up on that Okay, so the first amp we heard was Those were the Jeff Rowland Model 12s The monos that I'd normally use 200 watts per side um, monos. The next uh, part portion, the second music part, was the Kinky Studios, the um, EXM1, uh, the um, the integrated. It is also 200 per channel. Um, but when we first switched it over, a couple things. Um, first off, the Rollins are either more powerful or have more gain or whatever it is. But the bottom line was because they're still employed. I have I have two Rollins on each side, so the bass. Rollins are still in 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 place. I, I took out the top ones for the mids, which is the Maggie panels, okay, and um, and I swapped for the for the um, kinky. But there was so much bass coming from the Rollins, I had to turn them on the crossover back there. I had to turn them all the way down, and I had to gain the kinky all the way up and turn it all the way up. That was the only way the bass was going to even come close. To matching, um, so I would say they probably have more. I don't know if it's more gain or more outright power that that, that, that does that. But um, the bottom line is, I had to adjust to really get these thing, two things to work together. We're trying some, uh, a, you know, kind of a weird backwards bass thing, you know, which is putting an integrated um, into a biamp a rig, and and it, that are two different amps, you know, and hoping it's going to match. You know, the chances of that are really slim. But what I wanted to do more than anything is. Turn the kinky up a little bit, so if you want to go back and listen to that, you can hear how the kinky sounds on the Maggies, which are kind of a difficult load, uh, and, 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 and I'm giving it some juice so you can sort of hear the frequency response of the mid-high and see what you think when, when she's turned up. 
with a kind of a, a, a harder to drive load. Uh, and then the first one, if you go back to that, that would be the Rollins, but I didn't get a chance to turn that one up. So maybe I'll follow this up when I put these back in and then I'll turn it, I'll turn the Roland up so you can compare a little higher volume to a little higher volume. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, now we're back to uh, model 12. Turn it up a little. Milkshake whips has lost my food now. These guys bought a heap of my stuff. And I gotta see a good thing shooting sure up now. All my names are crock, that's crock and cake. Well, I'm crocking down and I'll spell it out. Doggy dog, ready, red. Crock style, boom, like that. A folks line up all down the street. Now I'm seeing this girl divide her meat. Now. And then I get it wham, as clear as day. So that's pretty damn cohesive. If you ask me, and it should be, they're the same amps. So we've got perfectly matched power amps. We've got the the um, you know the low and the highs on the crossover back to equal. You know we don't have to adjust for it. So I guess you know you could still hear the sort of the nature of what the kinky sounds like in this rig. Um, you know in this sort of a biamp config. Um, and uh, you know I don't know. I know what I could hear as a difference, you know, and I don't know if this is a proper way to really show it, but it's the only way that I can put the kinky into the big rig is the way I just did it. Um, I'm waiting on some full range speakers that'll be coming shortly and then I can do things like the kinky, like on, on a floor stander, uh, a, 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 you know, a, a full range set of floor standers and, and we can get more down to it and it'd be all, you know, single ended. Whereas this rig, is a differential rig so this is fully balanced through and through except the kinky single-ended so we were feeding it with a balanced signal and then it was doing whatever you know to render back a single-ended you know to, to, to run it through the single-ended circuit so there's a little something to chew on and listen to and and we'll continue i'll, I'll put you know when, when i get the full range speakers we'll put the kinky on that we'll turn turn her up and see what she's got um uh, these, uh, you know, the Rollins obviously go best with the Rollins, but you know what? Now that I think about it, I'm going to grab that digital amp, that class D amp, and I'm going to put that puppy in here and let's run that, the 535. Let's compare the new Roland class D to the model 12s, which we just heard and which we're hearing right now. Um, well, I just changed the source like a dum dum. Um, I was trying to turn it up, um, but I failed. Um, so... Yeah, so we'll put the 535 in next, and uh, it'll be pretty cool, I'll bet, to hear. This will give you a chance of what to hear what Jeff's um, Class D amps are like. They're pretty spectacular. So, let's see, I'll turn it up a little bit more before we go. This Model 12. I'm winding it down now so you can see how it plays at low volume.
So that's it wound down so you could hear it at the lower volumes. Um, so I'm going to put the 535 in. Let's see what Class D does. Okay, here's the um, Roland 535 Class D amp. Try a little more juice. Well, I'm crocking down and I'll spell that weed. It's Dougie Dog, ready, red. That's clear. Crock style, boom, like that. The folks line up all down the street. Now I'm seeing this girl divide her meat. And then I get it when it's clear as day My pulse begins to hammer and I hear a voice say These boys have got this down Ought to be in one of these in every town These boys have got the touch It's clean as a whistle and it don't cost much Wham, bam, you don't wait long That's pretty darn good, man. That's crazy, man. I mean, that thing... I don't know, I gotta listen to this back. That thing potentially could be better than the Model 12s. I'll have to listen side by side. It's pretty killer. That's good, man. I don't know. That's the best Class D I've ever heard. So, um, anyways, that's crazy. Anybody want to buy some Model 12s? <laughs> I got four of them. <laughs> Man, I think it's broken in. Uh, I'll have to revisit this. All right, everybody, thanks for joining. We'll see you soon.